Right, what we've got here is a two-part flask. It's not pre-historic. These are this is uh, modern and made of steel. So what I'm going to do is fill fill it up with casting sand. This is <coughs> this is a pattern <coughs> made of bronze, and it the original was copied using this method, and then repaired using car body filler to to get rid of the corrosion that had occurred.
Now you need a large amount of um, sprue area because when this cools, it uses that, I mean it, it's in milliseconds, but it uses that as a reservoir. And if you don't do that, you, you get hollow spaces and things like that. So we want 554 because we want 100 grams for the um, sprue. So we want, four, let's say 550. Oh. We'll zero this again. Oops. Come on. Right. So, this is scrap wire. And scrap wire is pure copper. You can't use copper pipe. So, I want 55... 55... Let's say 65 grams of tin. And this is lead-free solder plumber's lead free solder and it's 99.9% .9 pure tin. Put a, weigh out 55 grams of um, copper and then add 10% because it didn't, it, you, you're actually 1% down in fact you're 2% down because this is already 1% oh, yeah. copper
hammer, not very hard, they would have done it with the stone. I'm going to hammer in and creep up on the edge like that. Turn it over and do the same thing. You do this before you clean it up and, and sharpen it. And then stand it on its end and, and, and compress it up. At that stage, if we, we would then heat it up to cherry red and then quench it in the water, which will soften it. So then you're able to compress it a little bit more and Neil, with the swords, to get the proper edge on those, mm. he does it nine times. nine times. So if you just show that, explain that, that this is, this is the hardening process. So that's now a, a, a lot harder, but if we did the process three times it would be very hard. Now I'm going to cut the sprue off and tidy it up while it all cools mm -hmm. down. Yeah. That's beautiful. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's gorgeous. And, yeah. And when it's hafted, you have a piece of wood that's up like that. It comes down like that. And it would have been, in the Bronze Age times, it would have been a branch, but you, we'd have to cut so many trees down to and, and get in it the right angle. Mm. So what I do now is I drill a 22 mil hole and make a dowel that's like a peg, which goes onto it like that. The dowel is glued into the, to the handle, and then we wrap rawhide, and we get the rawhide from dog chews. <laughs> Because they, they're, they're all rawhide. Right. <laughs> so there we go.